Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R and the RK Stumbling Bear, and I'm a reader and a writer. And I'm back for another new release review. And this time it is for And What Can We Offer You Tonight by Premi Mohammed. And this is a novella. And I read it on ebook, so I don't have a physical copy, so you guys just get to look at the pretty picture now. First off, this review is going to be spoiler free. I loved the writing of this book when it came to word choice and description. That was very evocative. Made me feel like I was seeing things that were described and getting to feel the emotions that are described. But I did not like being so much in the main character's head. The main character's name is Jewel and she is a courtesan working in a house in a future world where there's no laws or government. It's only our power is dictated by money and if you were poor you were at and not considered a person. So if you're poor and not considered a person you are at risk of being culled from society. And the book opens up on a funeral and the dead girl awakens. None of this is spoilers because it's basically the description. <laughs> I mean, Jewel is not meant to be a likable character. She's meant to be, in reality, this is how someone would behave in this situation character, which is fine. I get it. But it can be a little bit frustrating all the same. Whereas in a novel, you would have the description and then you would go into a, into a dialogue scene where people are talking back and forth. You get a few sentences and then you're back in her head. Or then she would talk as if she was reflecting upon that conversation we had just started but hadn't finished. And But we're only getting her thoughts. So we're not hearing what people said. So we're only getting her, well, this is kind of how they seemed. And I am not a fan of that structure of it but I enjoyed the world building otherwise. The setting was interesting. It seemed very Venice-like with having canals and waterways, but at the same time you have, like, they call it, I think, hoovers, but like helicopters that fly. So it's, you know, it is very much a dystopian future kind of thing. And the book is just Jewel coping with her friend is alive and now no longer contracted to the house because the house thinks she's dead. And so, so she has become a vigilante. And how does Jewel actually feel about that? And how is that causing havoc or not in her life? So if you like beautifully written description and you don't need to connect to your characters, this would be a great novella to read. But for me... It was okay. It, I mean, it was good. It, it was good. In no way is this going to be a favorite of mine, but it is a story that I'm going to continue to think about, which is probably what the purpose of this story is, is to make you think. And in that case, Mohammed nailed it. Have you read this novella? And if you have, what are your thoughts? I would love to know. Thank you and have a great day.